New developments in that Texas serial bomber case. Police say the suspect, 23-year-old Mark Condit, who died when that bomb blew up in that car. Well, it turns out he recorded a 25-minute confession on his phone talking about what he did and why. Our senior national correspondent, Matt Gutman, is in Austin with those details and more on how authorities were able to track him down. Morning, Matt. Morning, David. Most of it was old fashioned detective work. Hundreds of federal agents literally pieced together those first two devices that exploded from thousands of tiny shards. Then they poured through hundreds and hundreds of receipts, hundreds of hours of surveillance tape. And that confessional video you just mentioned, it doesn't tell us exactly why he did this, but it does tell us what did not motivate him terrorism. During the 19 days he allegedly terrorized Austin, Mark Anthony Condit was a mystery, but no more. It was a confession because he was, and I even called it as such, that he was admitting to what he had done. In that 25-minute confessional video found on his phone, Condit revealed how he made those seven explosive devices <laughs> sowed terror. We're going to be attempting to move people away from the building. And offers a window into why he allegedly did this. But instead... It is the outcry of a very uh, challenged young man talking about challenges in his personal life that led him to this point. He'd killed two and wounded others with his first five bombs, but the sixth was an unexploded device recovered from FedEx. 500 federal agents now zeroing in, spotting him on this surveillance video wearing a wig and pink gloves trying to mail a package from a FedEx shipping center in southwest Austin earlier this week. Police were close, and Condit knew it. Yes, there were indications that he stated in the video that he felt like we were getting very close to him. And this morning, for the first time, we hear about the tense moments as the ATF and others decide to move in on Condit early yesterday morning. So when you heard that those SWAT officers are moving in, that second, what did you feel? Just suspense. Where did they say we're about to ram this car? Sus well, suspense, because it, it doesn't happen like... There's like, they're doing something, then there's radio silence. And then there's something, and then there's radio silence. So you never know maybe for five, ten minutes what happened in five seconds. That white van ramming Condit's red SUV. Condit's last bomb would go off, killing him. On Wednesday, his hometown, Pflugerville, on lockdown. Federal agents swarming his home, sending in robots, and evacuating all residents within a five-block radius. It's scary too. Today we had, we, they went through our garbage. Pat and Michelle Robach have lived next door to Condit's parents for five years. Just, you know, hi, how you doing? Kind of thing like that. The 23-year-old was homeschooled. He'd recently dropped out of college and was reportedly fired from a manufacturing job. His family reading a statement to ABC affiliate KMGH. We had no idea of the darkness that Mark must have been in. Our family is a normal family in every way. Now, last night I spoke to an ATF official right here who said that up until just a few days ago, they thought that this bomber might get away with it. They thought this could last for months, but it was seeing his images from those FedEx stores that broke this case wide open. David. Yeah, so glad it didn't last for months. Matt Gutman, excellent reporting on the ground there for us, Matt. Thanks. And the Robin. coordinated effort of law enforcement. Yeah, really just impressive. Remarkable. Yeah, yep. very impressive. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.